So at this point, you've been made familiarized with the fact that Sean Porter's flag has uh, not been entered into the competition for the public voting phase. What do you think about the fact that his flag, which is in relationship to the abolition of slavery, uh, did not move on to the second round for public voting? It's it's ridiculous. It's, mm -hmm. it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it was a beautiful flag. Yeah. And, I mean, it should have been at least given the chance to be voted on right. at minimum. Right. So you've seen the flag, and you, you, you do like the flag, yeah? The flag is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Right. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. So you think that this flag has, would you, would you agree that it has political value? If nothing else, it, it, it exposed everything, the whole history. I mean, it... it, it <laughs> and artistic value. Oh my God, um, Da Vinci. Yeah, you think you you you, th you think it's in that category? It, it's beautiful. Yeah. I loved it. It's right. heartfelt. It's right. it's inspiring. It's motivating. Mm -hmm. It's it's beautiful. So let me ask you a serious question. Do you do you think that this flag could be Frederick County's new flag? Like, do you think that this flag could legitimately take place of our current Francis Scott Key flag? Why not? And it should. Right. Yeah. And why not? Mm -hmm. But at this point, it's not given that opportunity. So, right. Yeah. It's not given that opportunity, but you seriously think that this is the flag that could represent the citizens of Frederick County? Why not? Yeah. If you're not behind this flag, you must be behind something else. If you're not for embolishing something, right. you must be for keeping it the way it was. Right. And by not changing things, I don't, I don't, I'm, yeah. I'm at a loss for words. No, I hear what you're saying. So what do you think of County Executive Jessica Fitzwater's initiative to keep this flag excluded? Again, the previous question, mm -hmm. I believe she's for slavery because yeah. she's, she's scared of change or she doesn't want change or yeah. whatever the case may be. <laughs> she's all for it. What do you think about, just in general, the fact that people have hundreds of flags all over the county have been submitted for this redesign competition, but yet there is this very finite group of people who gets to essentially pick the flag by picking three flags that get to move on for the final selection for public voting. I mean, what do you think about all these people who entered but never had their flags see the light of day? Who are these people? Hundreds of people trying well, to get the- who are, the who are these people that picked these three flags? Well, there's a select committee. It's called the 275 Committee in Frederick. They're, I don't know specifically who they are. Okay, th you know, those people, question. those people, and Mrs. Oh, Water, yeah, mm -hmm. they, yeah, they're telling you with how they feel. Right. They're scared, scared of change or just don't want change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So what, what should we be doing? You've made your, you've made it clear that you stand by Sean Porter's flag. You think the flag has artistic value and political value. You've stated that you could see this flag being the new Frederick County flag. What is the miss? What is the county government not understanding here? It's the people that we have in council and, and on boards that right. I mean, we need to change those folks and yeah. then we can look forward to bigger and brighter days, I would right. say. So what should we be doing? If you were county executive right now, how do you run this competition? How do you run our county government? Oh my gosh, I need at least 20 out of those hundreds, yeah. possibly. And yeah, it'll be an elimination process, but the people should have say. Mm -hmm. And regardless of how whatever or whoever feels, if the people like it, then that's what should matter. But they should be given the opportunity to dislike or like it. After this 275 committee, this group of people in our government, after they disqualify a flag that relates to the abolition of slavery, what should their future be? What future and where? That's what I'm they asking be, you. They should be at McDonald's saying, welcome to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. They definitely shouldn't have that power, yeah. that position of power mm -hmm. to make the decision that they're unable to make. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.